In this video, we'll look at what is a default solution. The default solution is the solution which contains all the components in the system. So if you want to discover what are the components and configurations in your system, then what you need to do is you just need to look at the default solution. So to access the default solution, click on the gear icon, which is the settings and click on advanced settings. Click on the down arrow next to settings and then click on customizations and click on customize the system. So as the name indicates, this is the default solution. In this, you'll have all the different types of components in your organization, your entities, option set, client extensions, web resources, processes, etc. So if you want to know what are all the components in your CRM organization, then you can just go to the default solution, which is over here and you can take a look at it. So if we want to make any changes, like for example, if we want to add a new entity or a new field to an entity or add a workflow, etc. Okay. Then it is recommended not to use the default solution to do it. That is, it is not recommended to go to the default solution, which is over here and then doing it. That is why clicking on new over here and adding an entity or make any of the changes which you need to do okay the reason is it will be very difficult to locate or identify the customizations which you have made if you may if you use the default solution to make the changes another issue is that if you are using the default solution then the components will be created by using the default publisher. We will be covering the concept of publisher later, but the important thing to note is that if you're using the default solution, the default publisher will be assigned to it. And because of this, it might end up resulting in the wrong publisher prefix being applied to the components. Finally, the default solution can also not be exported. So if we want to export the customizations which we perform, to another environment then and if you make it in the default solution then what you need to do is you need to manually create a custom solution to export it because the default solution cannot be exported from one environment to the other so as i mentioned we need to use custom solutions to make your customizations and that is what we'll be covering in the next video we'll be talking about custom solutions.